Hey guys and welcome to my channel Mathlete. Now in this video we're going to learn how to find the number of terms in an arithmetic progression. So here I've written down a question. It says find the number of multiples of 3 from 100 to 250. So the first things first. So the formula that we're going to apply here is very simple. Number of terms or n will be equal to L which stands for the last term minus A which stands for the first term upon the common difference plus 1. This is the formula that we're going to use. I'll just rewrite here that L is for the last term, A is the first term, and D is the common difference. And of course, n is the number of terms, exactly what we're looking for. So first of all, we have to identify the last term and the first term in this progression. Now remember, we're looking for multiples of 3. So the first term would of course be the first multiple of 3. So 100, as we know, is not a multiple of 3. And after 100, we have 101, which is also not a multiple of 3. However, 102 is a multiple of 3. So 102 becomes the, our first term. And then I'm going to start from 250 and go in the opposite direction. 250 is not a multiple of 3. By the way, there's a very easy test to check whether a number is a multiple of 3 or not. All you have to do is add the digits. Now, let's say uh, if I want to check whether 250 is a multiple of 3 or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 2 plus 5. So that's 7. 7 plus 0 will stay 7. Now since 7 is not a multiple of 3 or in other words since 7 is not divisible by 3 this entire term is not divisible by 3. So let's let's step down a bit. Let's try the same with 249. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 9 is 15. So this is a multiple of 3. So this becomes our last term. Now let's let's plug them in and the common difference. Since we're looking for multiples of 3, the common difference, like for example, if I write down the table of 3 here, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Since these are all multiples of 3, the common difference would obviously be 3. So our common difference is 3. So we have the last term, which is 249. n is equal to 249 minus the first term, which is 102 divided by the common difference which is 3 plus 1. So 249 minus 102 is 147 upon 3 plus 1. So 147 can be divided by 3, yes. 3 ones are 3, 3 fours are 12, 2 carried forward, 3 nines are 27. So 49 plus 1 is 50. So from 100 to 250, we have a total of 50 multiples of 3. So this is how you find the number of terms in any progression. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and make sure that you share this video with your friends. I'll see you all in the coming videos. Thank you and happy learning.